What is happening guys? Welcome back to Pokemon Sword. So we just arrived in a new town and this place is pretty cool. It's nice and peaceful. It is snowing and uh, I assume we're just about to take on the ice type gym. So this should be fun. Uh, before we do anything else, one thing I do want to do before we go any, go any further is I'm going to change up the team a little bit. Um, as much as I do like the squad currently, I want to grab somebody new. And unfortunately for Tootsie, we're going to go ahead and switch out Corviknight. The reason for that is because we have two Steel types. I really like Copper Raja, so we're going to go ahead and grab our buddy Nelson. And I just feel like Nelson's my buddy. I don't know. I bond with this thing. So unfortunately, Corviknight, we got to stick you there for now. Um, I mean, it's just an early route Pokemon. Corviknight is really cool. I love its design, but we're just going to switch things up a little bit. So now we have Nelson, and... Uh, it's probably not going to get used for a while, assuming we're going to have to battle the Ice Gym here. So let's check out, check out the summary. Um, ice and Bug type, which I really like. It has Shield Dust, which is going to block block the additional effects of attacks taken. It's just got Powder Snow and Struggle Bug, so not the most useful as of now. But we're going to keep it there in the old party just to get some experience. And kind of just see it's already level 39, so I'm assuming it's going to evolve soon. But let's take a look around the city. I'm sure we've got lots to explore. I hear that Pokemon and Pokeballs or boxes are nice and comfortable. Well, that's reassuring. Thank God it's not like a prison. They got their own little pokey apartments in there. That's what I've, <laughs> that's what I've always pictured. Uh, so let's get a nice little heal. Uh, the team is a little bit disrupted now that we've got a tiny little bug type in there. But still, I think it's got a lot of potential. I'm excited to see what that thing evolves into. If it's that high of a level little larvae, it's got to be it's got to be something cool. So, all right. Time to just explore around the city. And this is always a fun part about playing this game. Just kind of seeing what they've got in the cities. What's up, buddy? I'm just keeping an eye on the town. Nice. This guy's just helping out, just looking around, huh? What's up? Sometimes the only thing to do in the cold weather is have an ice cream. <laughs> but you can't even buy one. Also, who eats ice cream when it's snowing out? I'd really fancy catching a vanillish, but catching Pokemon is a young person's game. Buy gum? Sure wish. I sure would be glad if someone would trade me a vanillish for my throw. I do not have a vanillish, and I don't really want to throw, so... We got, uh... Got a nice little pond here, which actually looks like it's steaming. It's a hot spring. Seems like the hot springs... Yeah, it is. Perfect temperature today, too. Only Pokemon bathe in it, though. Hot springs when it's snowing out are probably about the best thing ever. Um, what's up? Are snowmen Pokemon? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> they're looking at a snowman. I know they're ice-type Pokemon, but is there such thing as a snowman Pokemon? Um, I don't believe so. Is this the same guy? This guy's just doing hot laps. All right, what do we have here? Is this a, a restaurant? Hello? Oh, that looks like a hotel. What's up? You're welcome to stay at either building of Hotel Aeonia. Uh, cool. A little Noibat here. I'm waiting for someone. My Noibat's using ultrasonic waves to help look. What are you waiting for? Uh, so the area is blocked off over there. Can we go to the right? We can't. What the hell? We've got tickets for the very front row seats of the stadium. Sometimes moves can come flying our way, but it's wicked exciting. Just <laughs> chilling in the splash zone. Hotels are the best. No need to worry about cleaning or laundry or anything. But we can go in the elevator. So there's some exploring to do in here. This is cool. Yo, this place is huge. What's up, buddy? Been waiting for my wife. Well, actually, my wife's been making me wait. Classic. Being blunt with someone isn't always the right thing to do. What a, what a great husband. This guy's got it figured out. As he also has a freaking Umbreon, so that guy's sweet. Anyway, uh, we got some hotel rooms in here. We'll check it out. Just gonna barge in on you. This place is nice, but it's full of trash. Travis is so helpful. He eats rubbish instead of taking tips. <laughs> cool. And we can't, we can't even click on the trash can. What an absolute travesty. Let's check out what's going on in here. Uh, uh oh. Yeah, we walked in on some weird shit. So that means the culprit must be among us. What is going on here? Hello? Wait, who are you? After all the trouble of dedu deducing things, don't go messing it up now. Um, uh, what? I'm gonna have to... Cough. I suppose I should introduce myself. The name's Houses. Yes, that Houses. The great detective. I've been hired by the hotel. Interesting. At present, I've cornered the culprit of a most heinous crime. And the crime is... Somebody ate the apples. The strange case of who ate the large quantity of berries in the lobby. I've gathered, gathered the three people who were present in the lobby at the time of the crime, but because of the noise, my marvelous uh, deductive reasoning seems somewhat muddled at present. 
Hmm. I, I bet we get the leftovers item. That, those look like leftovers. That's it. You, interfering child. You will be my assistant, the interfering child. <laughs> Listen to the stories of each suspect and find the culprit. All right. Detective Hayden is on the case. What's up, little buddy? Sigh. Where did my Pokemon go off to? Huh? Berries? I didn't eat them. Hey, you haven't seen my Pokemon around here, have you? I have not. Okay, this guy's... Don't think it was the kid. That detective sure seems like trouble, doesn't he? I will admit that I saw the mountain of berries, but my doctor told me to stop eating those things. Got it in writing right here. Hmm. This guy's got an alibi. Okay. Looks like you were unlucky enough to get caught up in this, too. There was a huge pile of berries in the lobby, right? There's no way I could have eaten that many. I've been saying that this whole time. Well. Oh, it was this... It was this fat ass. Ah, my Pokemon, where were you? It was the kid's freaking squirrel. Well... Case solved. Listen to the stories of each suspect and find the Okay, now I guess we talk to this kid. Squirrel, where were you at the time of the crime? <laughs> it sure has a lot of berry juice on its mouth. Hmm. Well, I'm no expert. After listening to everyone's accounts, I have deduced the culprit. Dancer. <laughs> what? What the hell kind of side quest did we get ourselves into? Because you're a dancer, you move and shake your body so much that you needed all that food for the extra energy. That evidence is as clear as sharp and sharp as the leak of a far-fetched. What does that even mean? You're no detective, you're a fraud. Who are you calling a fraud? You can't be referring to me, the great detective. What, what, what the hell's going on here? I can't deal with this disrespect. I leave it to you. You find the culprit. culprit. Um, it was the freaking squirrel, sir. Gromch? Could this be the culprit? Obviously, yes. <laughs> so, uh, what? Squavit is the one responsible. Sure is. He's been munching and crunching. It's true. It's got berry bits around its mouth. Yes, it definitely ate the berries. Definitely. You're right. I see now. I look more closely. Um, okay. I'm not really sure the whole point of this. As expected of my assistant. Here. Recompense for solving this mystery. Take it. We get ourselves a wide lens. Okay, can I take the leftovers too? Splendid, just splendid. I'm overjoyed. Must be off now. Take care, everyone. All right. Well, that was stupid. Just wait just a minute. Guess I'm supposed to chase after him, too. And the little kid's like, thanks for finding my squirrel. So, cute little fella. <laughs> Can I have these? I really thought that these were going to be the leftover item. I mean, the, the like icon on leftovers is always just a half-eaten apple. So I figured we'd be able to snag those, but unfortunately not. Anyway, that was weird. I don't really know... What that was all about, but kind of cool, I guess. Just a little, just a little extra thing. You don't need to go do that, but I guess it's you get a wide lens that way. What's up, buddy? The sounds of scratching glass or screeching noises noises feel like they suck the energy right out of you, don't they? Take this TM can cause that kind of effect. And we get TM16 for screech. Not a whole lot of useful TMs these days. Please, just give me somebody, give me like something cool, like thunderbolts or ice beam or something. Okay, last room. What do we got here? Tears are powerful. When I see them, I let my guard down without even noticing it. You want to use a TM that takes advantage of this power? Uh, sure. We get TM 47 for fake tears. Yet again, just another dumb TM. But So we got Screech, and then we got uh, fake tears. I'll become the champion using an all-Pikachu team. Uh, I'm going to say I doubt it. But hey, Pikachu actually does do its, uh, its like voice acting rather than just like its cry sound. Cool. Well, was that... Was this something here? Nope, that's the bottom of a lamp. Alright. Well. I suppose... That is it for us here. Which, uh... A little bit anticlimactic here in the hotel, but... I guess it doesn't matter a whole lot. There's also nothing different in the lobby, I don't think. So let's ex let's continue our, uh, our exploration of this city. So let's head this way. See what's going on over here. Ooh, we can go grab a we can go grab a fresh cut. We actually have not even done this yet. You know what? We might as well check it out. What's happening? Hey, it's the model people. Lovely to see you. What would you like to do today? So we can do hair or makeup. Let's try makeup for a thousand bucks. Now we just already spent it, so we got to do something. Now then, what kind of look did you want today? Normal eyebrows or thick eyebrows? Ooh, we looking thick or thin? Oh, definitely not thin. I think I'm just gonna keep normal. Also, we can change color of our hair did gold not do anything I oh, know these are our eyebrows just kidding obviously obviously we're doing the, br the brows let's uh let's make him ash brown I don't know this 
Also, we can uh, change the color of our eyes, which is some crazy ass makeup techniques. We can go green, pale blue, black, which is not even, I mean, kind of black, mostly gray. We can go to yellow, which is just scary. Ultramarine, ooh, we blue as hell, or yellow green. So many options, lavender ice, poppy red, white, multicolor, sw oh my God, we can go rainbow. Total dark, burning passion, <laughs> oh my God. Lovely hearts, what is this? Star studded. <laughs> I kinda just wanna go with the uh, ultramarine. We're going blue as hell. So, I guess I guess that's it. Was that worth the thousand dollars? Oh wait, did I just go back to normal? Hold up, ultramarine. And then we hit Y to confirm, I hit quit. Um, so yeah, not, not the most interesting thing ever, but I guess you can do some crazy shit with the eye colors. <laughs> That's something. You want to reprint your Pokemon League card too? Sure. I'm going to leave my hair as it is because I guess we could actually check. Let's check out the hair too. You know what? We're spending the 3000 bucks. Might as well go for it. This is something I have to do at least once. All right, let's check it out. So short style, we have Caesar cut. Okay. We look at kind of fresh though. Medium and wavy. Ooh, I kind of like the medium and wavy. Some braids. Side part, yeah, the side part actually kind of fresh. Undercut, kind of fresh too. Bull cut, <laughs> swag, or long hair. Let's go with the, uh, let's go with the undercut. Undercut kind of fresh. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna confirm that. I mean, we wear a beanie anyway, actually, so I guess it doesn't really, doesn't really matter, unless we wanna switch that up at some point. Yo, we looking lined up, boys. I like to put your hat back on. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep the hat. I like the, I kind of like the beanie, even though that's what you start with. That was completely unnecessary. But you know, whatever. You look good, you feel good. Ice types are the perfect fit for icy towns. Snom, just right at home. Very true. I got one too. All right, so now we can head up this way where we have another clothes store. Can I go in here? Oh, I sure can. Got a little apartment. This guy's just chilling. Doing nothing. If you complete the Pokedex, I'm sure you'll feel a great sense of accomplishment. Uh, thank you. Do you. Can I go in your... What do you got locked away over here? Nothing? Why would they include this house? There's literally nothing that happens in here. I don't understand. Freaking decoy house, man. You can go in here, though, too. We gotta thoroughly explore this city. This guy's got a snow runt. What are y'all doing? Just chilling in here with no TV on. Plenty of snow and ice for snow runt to eat. Now, will it become a Glalie or a Frost Lass? That is the question. Can I turn on your TV? We all live a boring life here. Um, so, let's go check out if there's any crazy new clothes for us to get. Also, hold up. We can go down into here. Alright, there is a hidden item. It's a Poke doll, so that's kind of cool. But we want to continue. Wait, what was that? Oh, it was just a. It was this little fella. I didn't even see you there, buddy. I do like that thing's cry, though. It's actually pretty sweet. Alright, wait. There's one more apartment. This one has to have something useful. Please. If only there were warm snow, we could play outside a lot more. <laughs> warm snow, it's called sand. I love having snowball fights with my Pokemon. Nice. Well, thank you, everybody who lives here, lives here, for not giving me anything cool. Anyway, here we have the closed door. So, can I get a different bag? Is that is that a thing? Welcome to our boutique. Anything I can help you find? Uh, we can change bags. Canvas travel bag. Okay, that's kind of tight. Ooh, this one's sick. We're buying that for 18000 for sure. Um, I also... Oh, did, I, did I click the wrong thing? Already purchased. I want to put that on. Okay, wait, hold up. Let's see what kind of hats they got. Trapper hat? <laughs> sick. Way too much swag. We're not going to buy a trapper hat. <laughs> but they might have a cool... Okay. Satin varsity jacket? Kind of fresh. I kind of like the one we have on, though. No pants available. You could change the shirt under, though. I think we're just going to stay with what we got. Wrap around sunglasses? Weird. No gloves for us. We are done shopping. Uh, let's go into the changing room. I didn't I didn't put on my bag. Hey, at least we got something new. Got ourselves a new bag. Um, yeah, yeah, canvas travel bag. There we go. Much cooler. We're going to go with that look. Update the old league card, which really doesn't matter for now. Our look is not complete. It's a work in progress. Once we finish the game, I'm sure we'll have a lot more options for clothes. But for now, we're done.
What's up? Dragon type Pokemon are weak to ice type moves. Maybe they don't like cold, huh? I guess not. What is going on over here? Is these the hot springs? What's up, little buddy? Little car coal. Damn it, I didn't I want to click on your owner, sir. What's up? The stones paving the ground are quite cold. Snow piles up on them in no time. Thank you for the intel. There are two challengers I got my eyes on Challenger Hop and Challenger Marnie. Ooh. We shouldn't figure out about Challenger Hayden, right? Uh, hey, they're just talking about me. Strongest dragon type move is called Draco Meteor. Do you want me to teach the move to your Pokemon? Ooh, nice. So none of my Pokemon can learn that, but this guy is just Draco Meteor guy. That's actually pretty cool. Is that a Persian engraved on this wall? Um, uh, no, that is not. That is not a Persian, sir. Plenty of people who enjoy Pokemon battles, even if they can't participate in the gym challenge. Actually, there are people who don't battle at all too. Freaking nerds. Don't even battle at all. Are you kidding? Thought I was gonna lose for sure, but then my Pokemon scored a critical hit. Does nobody give you stuff here? Like, oh, there's a TM. It was worth. It. Ooh, and it's Icicle Spear, which is actually a good ice move. Might want to use that on our little, uh, little larvae fellow, but we're gonna see what it evolves into first. Um, and now we can head over here. Where? What is this place? Oh, this is the bot. Ooh, got a Centiscorch just, just chilling. The food here is out of this world. It's worth coming here just for this, even if it means going out of your way. Let's have a proper meal first if you want to have a proper battle. Ooh, we can, uh, so if you have a meal, we can battle that guy. Welcome to Bob's Your Uncle. You're not leaving here without enjoying a delicious meal first. Bob is not my uncle. Where's Bob at? Isn't this a nice tapestry? I bought it at the antique market. Can I, can I get some food? Maybe you can't actually... Did they really not actually allow you to eat anything here? Um, weird. Dish is cooked to perfection. Juicy, but not overly soft. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, so, is this place completely useless, or am I missing something? So, this is uh, looks vaguely familiar. Nice tapestry. Well, um, maybe something happens here at some point later. But... I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Well. This is just a nice little pathway that leads... Was there a hidden item here? Or was that my breath that I saw? Definitely my breath. Oh, there was one here, though. It is a snowball. Item to be held by a Pokemon boosts attack if the holder is hit with an ice-type attack. It can only be used once. So that's actually interesting. So. I feel like I've relatively thoroughly explored this place. I don't know. I probably missed some stuff. I don't know what the hell was happening at, at Bob's, but... We are going to head over this way. And finally get the show on the road. Look at this Darumako. It's easy to get depressed when it's cold, but Darumako are able to store more strength the colder it gets. I'm jealous. I love Darumako. What do you do, guy? I watch gym leaders' matches on giant telly in the stadium. Is a hidden item right here. It's 2x special attacks, so useless. And I suppose it's time to head on in. Uh, they're not going to let us do any training before, so Hop is chilling in here. What's up, my guy? I lost. It all went to pot. Damn, Hop has really just been blowing it lately. Must have been something wrong with my strategy, but I did just what I seen Lee do in battles. Here, take it. It's the Rock, Rock Leader's League card. You should chain. check out the Gym Leader. You'll have to face two. Gordy's League card. So wait, did you say the Rock? And me? Gotta figure out what to put on my team once and for all. No more of this doubting. So wait. The Rock Leader? Why, why did he... You say you get to figure out which leader you're going against. We get a moon ball from this guy, so that's kind of cool. Can catch Pokemon that evolve using a moonstone, so that's not very many Pokemon, but cool nonetheless. Anyway, what is happening? Welcome, welcome, Gym Challenger. Do you want to attempt the gym mission? I sure do want to attempt. Uh, you'll need to change into your uni. So, let's do it. I also realize now that instead of going with number 69, I really should have just gone with, like, Slowpoke's... <laughs> Pokedex number, which would have been cool, but we, I had to hit the 69. You already know. Alright. So, time to take on the gym. I'm excited to see how this goes. Is, it, is this rock? I thought this was going to be steel. Or uh, ice. It is the rock freaking gym. Well. Oh, it's because I think the... Well, what do we got here? I think the ice gym is actually only in shield. Would you like to hear the details of the gym mission carried out here in Sir Chester? Allow me to explain a little bit about the trap detector you hold in your hands. Hmm. 
The reason you'll need it is simple. There are invisible pitfalls everywhere in here. If you fall into one, you'll have to start again from the last platform you reached. The detector will vibrate when there's a pitfall in front of you. The closer to the hole, the stronger the vibration. Well, then on with you. Alright, so... Rock Gym. Very weird that it's not a nice one, but uh, I guess we'll just leave Chiding in front and get some, get some good old-fashioned uh, brick breaks going. And let's see, can you hear me? What? Okay, so there's pitfalls. We do get a vibrate, so we're going to go this way. Still vibrating. Oh, it's vibrating real hard that way. We're going to not... Oh, okay. Um, obviously, you guys cannot feel the vibration, but you can see the little, little pulses. <laughs> I guess I don't... Hmm, we're just going to battle you. Hey, you used walking around Sir Chester Stadium, right? You used to? Um, not really. I kind of just went straight here. But we got Abigail. I guess I should have known that this was a rock gym just from the fact that the logo is literally a rock. But you got a Bulldor. And Chiding. About to give you this smoke. I really, uh... I don't know what kind of new stuff is going to... Going to be in this gym. Is there any crazy new rock type Pokemon. We get a critical hit. Down goes the Bulldor. Is that all you had? Did you just have one Pokemon? I didn't... Yep, Abigail just hitting us with one. Battled so confidently. It's all about confidence, baby. Alright. Continuing. Oh, yeah. Strong vibrations that way, so we're gonna go... Nope, not that way either. Um, hell of vibrations this way, too. I'm scared. If I fall in one right before, uh, no, yeah, we're good. Alright, so, is it going to show us where they all were? It does. Wow. Well, I got, <laughs> I got through that pretty easily. Take a deep breath. Focus. Okay, so, oop. Oh, okay, there's definitely one there. It's like we're safe to just walk up to this trainer. What's up? Rock types are really, 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 really amazing. I don't know if I'd say that, but uh, Kira would really like Brock. You got a crustal. Lasagna crab coming at us in full force. I love this thing. But you will have to get Brick Break. It's really weird using like a, a far-fetched against rock types and having the type advantage couple of brick breaks gonna do the trick hopefully we can get a crit this thing actually sets up the stealth rock okay I see you this girl thinks she's in a Wi-Fi battle maybe one more brick break let's crit it how about that damn it gonna get off an axe scissor which won't hurt too bad we resist in that we just absolutely resist everything crustal can do good old-fashioned bug rock type and you dead so, Chiding level 41, Dexter is going to be really useful in this gym as well. Pro we probably won't have too hard of a time here. And, alright, let's go this way. Oh, uh-oh. Alright, so I fell in my first one. But luckily, now we know at least we can go up. <laughs> so, not all that difficult. Gordy's amazing qualities. Number one, he's cool and fashionable. Actually, okay, I like this guy's hat. Gym trainer Oliver here has got a Karkle. So not quite the fully evolved boy, but Karkle is still pretty cool nonetheless. Karkle might be the only new rock type, I think. Unless I'm mistaken, I don't know. Brick Break is going to knock you out with a crit. Surfetch just be running through teams like nobody's business. Dumbo grows to level 40. And so we could actually use Dumbo too. Unless, I mean, Karkul is not really the best for us, but... Okay, that way is obviously way too easy. Oh, Jesus. Are these spots where they are, too? Hold up. Okay, this is bad. This is not the way we want to go. That, this is not the way we want to go, either. Oh, my God. They're all over the place. Oh, shit. That's a big one. The good news is when you do actually run into them, uh, they stay open so you can see where they are. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm doing terribly on this second one. <laughs> but this is how this has to be the route. Maybe not. No, it's not. Damn. We're just gonna walk straight through. Okay. I had to. I had to just make sure that going straight through was not an option. So it's gotta be. It's gotta be this way. Nope. We're gonna fucking fall through here too. 
Jesus. I'm gonna be all the way up against the wall? I'm probably gonna fall through here again. Yep, there it is. Damn it, I just needed to st <laughs> This is impossible. And you go like this? Uh oh, I'm gonna fall through again. Please, no. Lord, help me. Yes, <laughs> we made it. Alright, so there was a ton of them here, I bet. So that was, uh... That was a little bit difficult. Look at that. There's, like, not very many places you can even really walk. Alright, so we have one more area, and uh-oh. It is an absolute sandstorm up in this bitch. I'm just gonna walk fast and see if... See if I can somehow manage to... Okay, we're not gonna go that way. Yo, look at me. Got <laughs> got through to the checkpoint. And, uh, is there a trainer here? I can't, I can't see shit. Oh, there is a trainer somewhere. Where you at? There you go. What a terrible job this lady has. She's like, yeah, I basically stand in a sandstorm for eight hours a day, and, uh, I can't see shit. My eyes are caked with sand. Getting paid minimum wage for this. A little Sudowoodo here. We're gonna brick break you. You're fabulous, though. Sudowoodo always looks like he's so fabulous. Karate chop. And did that thing actually just live that organically with one? No, it is dirty. Okay. Now it's gonna block. Which, uh, it's not too big of a deal. Didn't really plan on escaping anyway. So, you know what? We're going to finish you with a knockoff just to save save some brick breaks for, for the time uh, we get to the gym leader. Sudowoodo is dead. And Wendy, you garbage. You garbage, Wendy. Nice if we could get rid of this damn sandstorm. Okay, that's a rock there. Yep. And there's time. Oh, uh-oh. Uh, uh-oh. Uh oh, God. I'm in danger. But no, we're, we're good, actually. Failure opens your eyes to things you couldn't see before. It's a good motto. Oh, God. I'm definitely going to fall through there. Um, okay, pretty heavy vibrations coming from pretty much all around. Ah, damn it. I was hoping I was going to be able to get through <laughs> without hitting anything. Although, now we know where that one is, so we can go around you. How big is this damn area? Oh god, I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall. We're just going to go all the way up against the right wall now. Maybe? Maybe not? Oh god. Vibrations everywhere. Where am I supposed to go? I'm going fast. Whoa! That actually worked. Alright! Nope! Okay, shit. <laughs> Obviously not going to let us right through. But now we can just go around this way and we've done it! Great success. Only fell in twice that time. Freaking world record. Let me know if you've done this gym. How many times have you did you fall through? Was I was I dumb, or did I do good? <laughs> if you take a little bit more time, you could probably do that a little bit better. We're gonna heal up here just to make sure we're at perfect health for the gym. We will be leading off with far fetched. All right, let's get it. So many gyms. It's like every other episode there's a gym. The gym mission has been cleared. Mm -mm. We love us some gym battles. Alright, so let's hustle on in. Looking a little dark and spooky up in this one. Alright, so it's this dude. This guy be looking pretty... Pretty interesting. Look at them shades. Hey there, name's Gordy. It's, it's such a fitting name for this guy. I admit I feel a little bad for doing this to a gym challenger, but I'm gonna use this match to show the crowd that my Pokemon are unbeatable. Unbeatable, you say? Well, let's do it. I'm excited to see what this guy's got for us. Um, with Farfetch'd, and Dexter will probably be alright, to be honest. Alright, Gordy here, hitting us with that clean battle theme, which I like a lot. He leads off with a Barbarical, which uh, is a cool rock type. Did not expect you to have that thing. Another overlooked Pokemon that doesn't get enough love. Barbarical's awesome, the Shell Smash. Let's just go right for a Brick Break here and see how much we can do as it's going to rock Tomb us. Tomb? Tomb? I don't know why I just pronounced the B so heavily. Uh, it does drop our speed with the Rock Tomb, which is annoying. 
But Brick Break is almost going to knock your ass out. So at level 40, we're perfectly leveled for this. Now it's going to Shell Smash. Why would you decide to Shell Smash now, sir? Gordy, I don't know how long you've been doing this. That's not the way you want to do it. Also, look at his stance back there. Why are you standing that way? I mean, you look dramatic and cool, but it seems a little impractical. <laughs> so, one more Brick Break is going to take care of your uh, ugly-ass face palm. Get it? Because his, his, his face is a palm. Best nickname for that thing ever. Next is a Stun Jorner. I have no idea what that is, so we got ourselves something new we're going to stay in. What? Alright, so level 41 Stun Jorner. Just assuming you're a pure rock type. No idea what the hell you are. It's like, uh, it's one of those... It's gonna body slam us. It's one of them stat... Okay, we're, ju we're just gonna take that nicely and see how much Brick Break does. Easy to hit KO. This thing reminds me of... Also, look at the little Rotom back there. It's like a Rotom camera. It reminds me of that one statue. Or not statue. The... Ooh. Defense and special defense stat? What it was? Hold up. Reminds me of that one hill that had that freaking crop circle looking <laughs> like engraving in the hill. Anyway, that thing is gonna die. Two down, two to go. Jadin grows to level 42. Next is a shuckle. Nice. My boy coming at us with a nudes. We love us some nudes. Um We could switch Jadin out here, but Let's actually just stay in here. We're just going to go for a couple Brick Breaks. You don't have to worry much about battling Shuckles because they don't really do anything offensively other than, like, get Toxics and Infestation. But we are going to just Brick Break you a couple times. It is a 2-hit KO. As long as we get another crit, I guess. As this thing's just going to Rock Tomb as well. So I'm assuming the TM he gives us is going to be Rock Tomb, which... Not the best Rock move. Lowers my speed. Are you going to be faster than now? You know? Nope, definitely not. Noodles, you slow as hell. So it does live that one, because we don't because we don't get a crit. And Shading is out here just absorbing rock tombs all damn day. Like a boss. So one more brick break is gonna do it, and then he just has one Pokemon left. Uh, which is gonna probably be something that can Gigantamax, so it's gonna be exciting to see what that's all about. We have saved our Dynamax too, so we can we can use that on whatever. Barney grows to level 40. Very nice. Wants to learn poison jab. Which is a good poison move if we were more physically offensive we're definitely leaning toward more of a special attacker so i don't really want to get rid of nuzzle it's good for getting paralysis toxic is also nice to have around acid you know poison jab would probably better be better than having acid around so we're gonna go ahead and we'll teach that to you why not nice little mixed attacker and last but not least he has a colossal so that is uh something we've seen before obviously colossal is a little bit scary. Let's go into Dexter for this thing. Because you do not like water moves. And we're actually about to see what Inteleon looks like Dynamax. This should be kind of cool. Also, does... Does this thing get a... Gigant Gigantamax form, or is he just going to Dynamax? Colossal. Um, I don't think we've Dynamaxed our Colossal ever yet. So, level 42. We are level 42 as well. Going to hit that Dynamax button. And we're going to go for the Water Pledge Max Geyser. And it's probably just going to knock this thing out, honestly. But we get to see the crazy-ass an animations. You love to see it. That is... Hey! You got wings? You had those wing things this whole time? <laughs> so, honestly, the design of this thing is actually pretty cool. I don't give it as much credit as it deserves, but Sobble is just such a great, just such a great design. Alright, so this thing is gonna take on a new form here. What do we got? Okay. Just basically looks a whole lot more evil. And you are very scary. So this is a super defensive mon. Uh, if you don't have super effective hits, you probably have a tough time against this thing. We're gonna go for that Max Geyser. Super cool battle animations here. I really like that a lot. So we didn't get to see what it was going to do because it gets absolutely destroyed. <laughs> and that is going to do it. We also actually, our effect on that is it actually makes it rain, which is kind of cool. But we're going to have to blow you ass, yo ass up. And that was actually, that was an interesting, 
A little gym battle, not too difficult for us because our team handled that nicely. Dexter 43, Nugget 42, and Nelson goes to 40. Our buddy Nelson got a level. Very nice. So, another day, another gym, boys. We shrink back to normal size, and Gordy's like, well, that was anticlimactic for me, but I just want to climb into a hole. Well, I guess it'd be more like falling from here. <laughs> we get $13,000. He's rolling in the dough these days. That was impressive. Rules are rules here. Take this rock badge. So, we got ourselves another gym badge. Look at how tiny our hand is compared to this guy's. I'm gonna slide that into the old case. Not a whole lot left to go, ladies and gents. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 50. Don't worry about me. I just need to train harder, that's all. You sure do, buddy. You sure do. A celebration of your victory over Gordy. Take this TM. We get uh, Rock Tomb. Called it. Alright, so... That was actually super, super quick. Here's a special uniform. We also get the Rock Uniform, which is fun. Collecting all damn uniforms. So it is time to head out and see what's going to happen now. So, Sonya, right on time. That battle was brilliant. The gym leader was tough, but you had no trouble. Sir Chester has some really great restaurants. Got some things I want to talk to you about. So let's head to a restaurant and celebrate your win. Are we going to go to freaking... Yeah, we're going to Bob's. Okay, I knew there had to be something that happens at Bob's. So we're supposed to just meet her there. And uh, we can just go this way. Time to finally try out Bob's... I want to say Bob's Burgers, but y'all got burgers here or what? So Hop is here as well. Got that gym badge, Hayden. Nice one. Oh, hey, there you are. What's up? Been trying to find out more about the Darkest Day and the Sword and Shield Pokemon, but still no luck. Did they, like, steal that tapestry? Wait, hold on. Wait, where the hell did you get this? No way. What's this? I mean, the guy was talking about it. A new chapter in the old Galar Legends. A fifth tapestry. An absolutely fantastic poster. We're going to say a new chapter. The heroes look sad. And where are the Sword and Shield? Oh, yeah, they look bummed out. What was the meaning of this picture? An end to the legend? Uh, perhaps when their, when their duty was completed, they went into some kind of sleep. Hmm. Based on those statues we saw back in Stoan's side, the sword and shield were actually two Pokemon, right? That's right, my take on it at least. You remember the Pokemon we met that day? Do you think it could have been one of them? Either the sword or the shield Pokemon. You met them? Hello? We sure did. Our very first day. Come on. You know what I'm talking about, right, Hayden? I almost forgot about that. So yeah, in the slumbering well, we did come across the... One of the legendaries. The mad Pokemon we ran into in the fog. Don't you think that could have been it? That's right. You two have been in the slumbering wells. I only started this journey because my gran told me to, but it's turned out to be so much fun. Got to tell me more. How about do we, we discuss this over a meal? Go on. What do you want to eat? Let's get our orders in. Do I actually get to choose? I wish I could actually choose. But we cannot. So we're done eating now, apparently. Fascinating. All right, the next thing to do now that we're done eating is have a look around Sir Chester. Let's inspect the hero's bath. All right, time to go head to the bath, I guess. What do we got going on over yonder? So there's probably some type of other thing. They're not just going to be like, all right, go to the next city and go get the, that gym badge. You'd think there would be some type of little conflict going on here. The hero's bath. They say this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after the battle to bring down the evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon really use the hero's bath, though. Who exactly were the heroes that bathed here? I think we'll have to look into that. It's probably the legendary Pokemon. You two met a mysterious Pokemon back in the slumbering well. Perhaps you two can become new heroes. What? Like some hero waving around a sword and shield? Pull the other one, I guess. I'd fancy a shield if I had to take my pick. <laughs> what kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? Why don't we show her, Aiden? Think we can pull off a real heroic battle? All right, let's, uh, let's do it. Sonya treated us... To a great meal. After that curry, feel like I've got the energy to wrestle. Beware. They only eat curry in this <laughs> in this damn place. Don't entirely understand your reasoning, but I might as well just see what you can do. I'll heal your Pokemon for you, Hayden, so give it your best. Alright, so we're healed up, and it's time to battle Hop again. Time for a little exhibition match, starring the future champion. Ya yeah, boy. So I guess we'll be able to see uh, what Hop has changed on his team this time, which is kind of cool. He caught something new. He brought back the dub wool. Yes. Hell yeah, buddy. Uh, so perfect for Chiding here, we can just brick break that thing. I'm counting on you, partner. This was his very first partner that he kind of got rid of a long time ago. He is now hailing. But we are going to just brick break the hell out of you. 
but it's going to growl at me, so that is annoying. But we're going to go ahead and pop your soccer ball sheep, and uh, you're dead. Actually, like a ram, but now that's a proper move. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. He's always so impressed by my, by my moves. And a critical hit. I feel your pain, and we'll get them back for it. Yeah, sorry about that, devil. I've killed that thing so many times. What do you got for me next, buddy? Get hurt by some hail, which is fine. Next is a Corviknight. I clicked A really quickly, but we do see that it's a Corviknight. So let's go into Barney, who at level 40 could definitely use some love. And we're going to discharge the absolute hell out of your Corviknight. So it's cool to see. Uh, last time we battled him, he did have the Corv Squire. Now he's got the Knight, so he's been, he's been doing some grinding. He did lose to the, the gym, though, didn't he say? All right, so level 40 Corviknights, we are evenly leveled with you. Time to hit you with a nice little discharge. As it's going to drill peck us, which is fine. We resist that. That is fine by me, sir. And is this going to kill you? Mm, just about. We do get the para, though. And the hail shouldn't be enough to knock it out, I don't think. Maybe, actually. Yeah, it does. Nice. The hail actually really, <laughs> really did us a solid there. Very nice. We're at level 41. Next is a Cinderace. So, he obviously he's going to keep the starter throughout the game. Uh, for Cinderace, let's actually just go into Nugget. We'll give it a Rock Blast. We should be okay. We could just use uh, Inteleon, but Inteleon's been getting a lot of usage lately. So, we'll switch into Nugget. Young Nugget. Keeping them coals lit. And level 41 Cinderace. So, we're just going to go ahead and Rock Blast the absolute hell out of you. It does have Double Kick, though. So, it's retained... It's ability to double kick, even, I think it gets that even as a, uh, a score bunny, but... So we take that relatively nicely, because we bulky as hell. And catch this rock blast. So we do need to hit a decent amount of times. Give me four. Only two? Damn it. <laughs> we are going to get hurt by the hail. We can take another double kick, though, which I think is the best move it's got against us. It's honestly quite unfortunate that the starter Pokemon don't get dual typings. I don't know why they would do that. Like, they just make them pure uh, fire, water, and grass, which... Is an interesting move, in my opinion. Why would they do that? One more Rock Blast is going to do the trick. Down goes your Cinderace. And what do you have? So he has two more Pokemon left, right? Is that boy dead? Next is going to be... Barney level 41. Chiding 43. Not bad. Heard by the hail. I just want to freaking see what he's got for me. We do have to switch out here. It's a... Pin... Searchin... What the hell is that? Sounds like an urchin. Do we go into Barney expecting it to be a water type Pokemon? Hold on, are we about to see something new or is this something that I have seen before? Uh, that I just have, don't recognize the name. Maybe it's just an evolved form of something. What do you got for me here, buddy? Ooh, so it is a new little urchin guy, level 39. Assuming you're a water type, we're just gonna go for a discharge. I don't know what to expect here. Oh, it has lightning rod, uh-oh. That is, that is not good. Uh, well, shit, now it's going to curse. Oh, Jesus. This is not good at all. It's just a, a poison... I'm expecting poison water type, but I don't know... I've never seen this thing before, so I have no idea. Get hurt by some hail. And we now know that we cannot <laughs> discharge you. That's dumb. Freaking lightning rod, really? Let's go into Dumbo. We can give it a bulldoze and see how much that does. Although it did set up a curse, so it's got good defenses. I'm assuming it's already a defensive ass Pokemon anyway. So maybe that was a bad call. It's going to curse again. Yo, Hoppy straight setting up on me. I'm actually kind of afraid. So it's got plus two attack, plus two defense. Uh, luckily the hail's helping us out a little bit, doing a little, doing a little bit of chip damage to it. And okay, now let's see what we can do with Bulldoze. I really wish I would have, I could know what this thing freaking is. Uh, Bulldoze does a decent chunk is super effective. Now it's going to go for a spark. Is this an electric type? It's a freaking electric urchin. Uh, we do get paralyzed as well. So, damn, we're not going to be able to take another one, are we? Yo. I guess that makes sense. Why well, it's got, like, some yellow colors. We are actually still going to go first. Not quite able to knock it out. Now it's just going to spark again. Yeah, that's going to kill us. Damn it. Dumbo. Shit. Well... Is the hail gonna knock it out? It sure is. <laughs> so the hail just be getting, be getting KOs today. All right. Where did you get that thing? 
Okay, what are we going to send in next? We didn't see what he was going to send in. Um, let's go. I, I would like to go Nelson, but we cannot. We could go Barney, but we about dead as hell. We're just going to go Dexter. At level 43, we'll be able to destroy anything he's got. So we send in Dexter first. Think you've got me cornered? Not even close. I'll be the greatest. You got us. Okay, so it's going to be the Snorlax. So I should have gone far fetched. I didn't know if he was going to keep the Snorlax, but let us just uh, let's just go for a Water Pledge, or you know what? Let's actually just switch into Surf Action because Snorlax is super bulky. It's got a ton of HP, and it also has really good uh, natural special defense. So going for Water Pledge would probably not be the best idea. He's going to Body Slam us and probably get the Para. Please don't get the Paralyze. Thank you for that. Do get hurt by the hail, as the Snorlax will as well. But now we can unleash the power of Brick Break. And it is actually just going to knock it out. Nice. Critical hit. Coming in clutch. And we have defeated Hop again. Poor guy. Loses everything. <laughs> I don't feel sorry for him, though. You kind of deserve it, Hop. You suck. Alright. We have defeated... Trainer Hop. Still can't even beat you, my true rival, but I think I'm starting to see the light. He's still hopeful, though. He's kind of hopeful, at least. So, interesting little turn of events. Thanks. You guys gave a proper battle. Right proper battle at the rate. You both are going. Even the unbeatable Leon may be in trouble. So what's next, E2? I plan to look into things in the slumbering welds. Gonna keep challenging that gym. Then, once I get that gym badge, I'll be heading to Route 9 to take on Spikemuth next. Spikemuth, huh? Interesting. Seems like he finally shook off that gloom. Well, yeah, I'd worry if Hop wouldn't, wasn't feeling all right. As his rival, he wouldn't like that either, right? See ya. And now she's out of here. So they are just going to set us on our journey to the next city, apparently. So we should probably heal, unless they healed us somehow, which they did not. Damn it, Hop. I know you got hyper potions, boy. I seen them. So we're just going to head on the old bicycle back to the Poke Center. As I'm terrible at riding, at riding my bicycle. But then we'll take a look at the map and kind of see what we're working with. I don't know how we're supposed to evolve our little ice bug friend, but it's going to happen sooner or later, and I'm excited for when it does. Looks like he's a little butt face. <laughs> little guy looks like an ass. All right. So, let's take a look at the town map. See what we're working with here. So, I'm assuming we just go right and then back down. Yep, we're supposed to head to old Route 9. To reach Spikemuth. So here is the next city. And then after that, don't have much of the map left. Looking good though. So, we are going to end the episode here, guys. We got a lot done that episode. We uh, got our last, or not our last, got ourselves the Rock Gym Badge. You know, one thing I haven't really done is checked out the League cards. Let's actually go ahead and take a look here. So it kind of gives us a little bit of progress. Um, we can check out our album which has our list of ooh, Marnie be looking looking good in hers nice this guy be looking crazy as hell Raihan this is the dragon guy we haven't battled him yet but we still have his we have the card anyway these are actually pretty cool I like these a lot they're like signed pretty sick then we got Doc who the hell who the hell's Doc <laughs> so mine be looking pretty basic I'm gonna press R to flip card so Curry decks, three kinds of curry. 29 Pokemon caught. Not a whole lot. Ooh, there's also a shiny Pokemon found number, which is interesting. That's actually pretty cool. Well, on that note, guys, we're going to end the episode here. Next time, we're going to check out the next new city. And uh, we're just moving right along, right along. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps out the series. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.